Hey, I'm Pep, and I'm gonna try something different out here. I've uh, been getting back into Magic and bought a booster box of uh, the new set boosters. It's a, a specifically a new type of booster that they have for a Magic the Gathering set that comes out. Less focus on drafting, more focus on just uh, having some interesting stuff. And you know what? I'll if you've never played Magic before or you haven't played in a while, I'll kind of describe uh, more specifically what these packs are, but. Let's just get into opening this thing. Yeah, I'm going to be a little rough on it. All right, so the first thing, uh, Magic Stuff comes with a box topper now. And that is here. Um, sure, a lot of people wait till the end to open these. I'm just going to open it first. Let's see what the box topper I get is. Now there's 30 different lands this could be. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's actually really, really cool art. I, I don't know specifically know the value of this one, but um, I'm happy nonetheless. That's a neat card. Okay, so let's open these packs and uh, move the box over here. Oh, sorry, give you a little nudge there. Okay, so let's talk about what's in them. As it mentions on the front, there's only 12 cards in here. Um, so it's a little bit different. Normally in these packs, they'd have 15. Uh, so the first thing on the front is going to be just an art card. Uh, that's gorgeous. Sometimes you get ones with a gold foil. And then the next thing you're gonna get is a full art land, which are beautiful. It's like an 11 or something percent chance you can use foiled. Now the next few cards are interesting. Uh, okay, well I got all commons, but these next five have a chance to be anything from common to uncommon. So, if you just want to see the cards real quick. But yeah, I, I got all common, so I guess you could say I, I whiffed on that. Um, and then you have... Uh, oh wait, no, sorry, it's more than that. It's the, uh, it's the first seven. So I actually did, did get two uncommons in there. Right, um, and then you have two slots, I believe, which can be anything. No, I'm, I'm messing this up. This is, this isn't, okay, but either way, there's two slots in here that can be anything, uh, and then there's also a slot which specifically has uh, what they call like a, a showstop or something interesting. So I definitely messed this up somewhere, but you do have a guaranteed rare in the pack, that's what I got there, and you do have a guaranteed foil. Um, I am a little confused, because which one of these was supposed to be the showstopper? Because I believe it's supposed to be it should either be a flip card, which are a new type of card, or a full art card. Uh, okay, whatever. We'll move on to the next pack. So, maybe this one will be less confusing for me. Oh, terrible at opening these things. Sometimes I watch people opening packs online and... They are much better at it. Oh, that's very nice. And full art land. Okay, and so the commons and uncommons. Yeah, got a couple of uncommons in here. And then, yes, yeah, so this is supposed to be the showstopper. Also, I'm really happy because I really wanted this one. Uh, so it's like the full art. It's cool. Now, these next two slots can be anything from common all the way up to mythic. I got two commons. That's kind of sad. I just got an Omnoth though, that's right now like a $40 card, so that's really cool. And my foil isn't anything important, and a token. Now I'm hoping in the next pack here that I get something specific that I can show you. Oh, it looks like I did. I should be opening them the other way around. All right, let's get this. Oh, it's a neat art card again. Full art land, not foiled. Uh, some commons. Oh, I did get two uncommons. Oh, no, one uncommon, and then this should be the showcase, uh, as it is a card that you can choose which way you want to play it. That's what a little symbol up here means. You can play it on either side. And for my anything slot, I got two commons. And then I got a Maddening Cacophony. This is kind of neat. You can have all your opponent's decks. And then, oh... Oh, that's probably not worth anything, but that's just lovely. I love when they're full art and foil. Now this is the interesting part. The last card in the pack has a 25% chance of being a card from the list, which is like a group of 300 different cards. So 
This is one of them. So it's from an older set and it has this little thing in the bottom to show you that it's from an older set. It's not the actual original printing of it. Um, that's cool though. I'll need to check how much that's worth. Now it's funny because anytime I open packs, I always think about how much value is in the cards that I'm getting. But at the end of the day, I'm not likely to ever actually sell anything unless I get a bunch of copies of something. More likely, I will just use it. I thought that was the art at first. I'm like, what's with the words on there? Oh, that's, that's lovely. Full art forest. All right. Got a couple of commons. Oh, we got a few uncommons in here. And then this is the showstopper. So it's got a land on the back, so you can pick, do you want to be a land or not? And then in my two anything slots, again, two commons, it's kind of sad. Um, interesting for my rare. All right. Um, not sure how many packs I'll open here. I'm gonna make this video about 10 minutes, so I might get through 10 packs or so. I'll start trying to, oh, I dinged the corner on that one. Oh, I love this. So a lot of people are saying that these art cards aren't really useful for anything, but at the end of the day, you can use them for tokens. For example, did I manage to get a Jace? Is that, no. Uh, so for example, if I got the Jace that specifically makes a copy of himself, I could easily use this as the token, which is kind of neat. Okay, land. We've got some commons. Oh, got two uncommons there. And what is this? Gain a life. Yeah, that's interesting. My, my two anything slots are common again. And then I got this kind of a Hydra, but not really a Hydra, which is interesting. Oh, and my foil. Oh, it's a kind of a cool foil. I don't think it's a good foil, but you can't always get good cards. Sometimes you just have to hope you get interesting cards. Especially, like I said, if I'm not actually going to sell anything. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, I like the, the circle in the middle there. Uh, okay, got a couple commons. Oh, we got three uncommons this time out of our slots. That's cool. And then we got another of these flip cards for the showstopper. And then, oh, I did get an extra rare. Oh, I was hoping for this one. It's really cool. You can kick it, and it's an indestructible thing that taps for mana. And when you kick it, it comes in with two extra of it. That's really cool. Uh, this one's less cool. Ooh, that's pretty cool, though. It's a foil rare. Rare? Mythic? I can never tell the difference between rare and mythic because of, you know, color blindness. Also... I apologize to anyone who's watching this. This is kind of um, likes things to be neat because I started off and I put one card there, nice, and I put the pile beside it, nice, and then I've just been kind of scattering stuff after that. Ooh, ooh, that would have been a cool one to have the gold signature on. I haven't got any foil lands yet. Uh, okay, four, four uncommons, which should mean, uh, or four commons, which should mean two commons. That's neat. Uh, there's my showstopper, and then, oh, we got an extra rare again this time. Oh, I was hoping for this one. That's cool. And this guy's neat, too. He's a cleric. And my foil, not super exciting. Jeez, we might not even get through the 10 packs. So each of these boxes comes with 30 packs, uh, which is a little less than normal. Normally, they come with 36, and these cost a little bit more as well. That's neat. But because of the fact you get extra rare, oh, this is a good one. So look, only two commons, and then what is that? Four, four uncommons. My showstopper or whatever. Oh, that that's actually a really cool looking island. Uh, and then I got a common and an uncommon. That's okay. And uh, this mammoth thing, which can also be a land. A lot of these actually are quite expensive cards. Okay. Well, that's it. Uh, I just wanted to give you an idea of what, like, looking at some of the boxes. Um, who knows? Maybe I'll do another one of these in the future. Let me know if you like it. Other than that, though, thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested, this is the Zendikar Rising set boosters. Go check them out. Uh, I think they're a good deal. So, um, talk to you later. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Until next time, live free, game hard. Goodbye.